Comes and look at her bulldoze her way into the end zone. And this is the toughest run I've seen in a year. Angie Williams all over the secondary. Wow. You just saw her absolutely trucking over defenders, and it brings me great pleasure to welcome her to the show. That's the superstar running back from the Jacksonville Breeze, Angie Williams. Angie, thanks so much for coming on. Uh, no problem. Thanks for having me. All right, Angie, let's get right to it. It appears the newly formed Legends Football League has opened its doors to more athletic women such as yourself. Are you offended that the other ladies are just there to look pretty on the big stage? <laughs> Uh, I, I can't say that I am. Um, being on this team, it has really opened my eyes. I know previously I was a bit skeptical uh, when I, you know, initially heard about the LFL, but actually playing with the group of ladies that I play with, I find that a lot of them are athletes and they compete. So um, it was actually refreshing. Angie, what's your favorite nickname? I heard, is it the Giant? Is that the way you like to go by? <laughs> no, <laughs> um, my, my team actually hasn't given me a nickname as of yet. They just call me Angie, so, I mean, but I, you know, I heard when I watched the, um, the tape, you know, I heard, you know, big Angie Williams, so I guess maybe that's what it is for right now. I'm not sure. Well, Angie, you don't have a problem with being called big Angie Williams, because if I'm out at the club on Saturday night and they say, watch out for the big girl, it's not complimentary. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've actually been big all my life, so it's no sweat off. It's no sweat to me. All right, Angela, let's get to some serious stuff, because your touchdown against the Atlanta Steams, Alfie Gort, was absolutely tremendous. Describe to us the play and how you were able to steamroll over the defender for the touchdown. Well, it was actually a, a handoff play uh, designed for one of the wings, and it just so happened it was called on my side. So it was more or less I faked for it like I was going to block and then step back for the handoff. And, well, if it wasn't for the blocking of uh, my other two bigs, Jenna Weiss and um, Dina Kowalski, um, I don't think the hole would have been as, as wide as it was. But um, I came through, and it was wide open, and it's almost as if she kind of, like, slid into my way, and it was... Inevitable. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's what you call it. She slides into your forearm and gives you the old shoot. Right? <laughs> I'll call it unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. it, it was more of a shoulder. You know, I saw her there, and, you know, it's like a couple yards to the end zone, so I just lowered my shoulder and moved her. Well, I would have flagged you for hitting a, a defenseless linebacker because she had to be there to paint herself. But let me tell you this, Angie a, a fan of the program and one of my biggest fans, Nikki Johnson had a similar touchdown run such as yourself, just bulldozing through somebody on the way to the end zone. Can you compare your touchdown run to hers? Um, I did see that hit, and I, I actually watched it several times. Um, her head seemed a little bit more vicious than mine. Um, the way Divine fell, it kind of, it almost looked like it was helmet to helmet, but then on a the replay, it showed the shoulder, but, um, she delivered a really good hit on that. I would say the only real difference between uh, mine and hers would be mine was more of a, like, a body rollover. I literally, like, rolled over. <laughs> kind of, like, stepped over Alfie. Whereas um, it looked like she just really took the body out. Definitely, no doubt. Both were impressive. But I want to talk about something very serious. This season, the league said it's changed its uniform to performance wear instead of lingerie. But they look exactly the same. I mean, what am I missing? What's more performance-oriented about this year? Well, I mean, they, they've taken away, you know, the guard belts and, and the, you know, the neck pieces and, you know, all the bows and whatnot and a lot of the lace because I think, you know, with that, it actually gave, you know, the league, with the previous name, the LFL, it almost gave it like a negative connotation. No one really took the women that played the sport very seriously. And granted, the uniform hasn't changed all that much, but I think with the rebranding of it, it's going to start um, moving, you know, people's, how people re, um, view the league in a, in a more positive way. As in, these women are actually athletes, including myself. So I think uh, once people come out and actually see games and see the rebranding, they'll be able to take it more seriously and actually, you know, appreciate the sport. Well, some people are taking it very seriously because whereas the NFL has female cheerleaders on the sidelines, uh, the LFL 
uh, has man, man, men fighting in the stands, okay? Now, I want to understand, what's your take about men fighting in the stands during your football games? And do the players like seeing this kind of passion? Um, my take on the and on the men fighting in the stands. I mean, I, I, it's entertaining, I guess to say the least. Um, I, I don't, I don't necessarily think my team uh, really likes or myself really likes seeing fans actually fight. But it's all, it's always great to see the, the support and also the passion that they have, you know, for their team. So, um, any kind of emotion that they show for us is, you know, positive is good. I say they take it to the next level and fight in the stands wearing the uniform of their favorite <laughs> LFL team. Uh, I like it. <laughs> Angie, where can we catch you next? When's your next game? Our uh, next game is May 25th here in Jacksonville. Uh, we play the Baltimore Charm. Very cool. Angie Williams running back for the Jacksonville Breeze. Thanks for coming on the show. Watch out for Baltimore. They get ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for having me.